little buddy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is my mommy. Well, it's very nice to meet you both. I hear somebody has a toothache. That's right, Doctor. Timmy's had a terrible toothache for a week. We just can't bear to see him suffer. You know, I had to have 35 rounds of in vitro just to get pregnant with Timmy, and I just think he's so special. Aw, Timmy, I'm going to help you feel better. Really? Will I be able to go home and play with my puppy? And hug my daddy, the prominent malpractice attorney? You sure will. All I have to do is give you a little shot of this special medicine, and that toothache will be all gone. Oh, goody! Thank you so much! What kind of medicine is this, doctor? It's safe, isn't it? Oh, it's a medicine called bupivacaine, and it's very safe, as long as you don't give it intravenously. I trust you with my sweet angel, Doctor. And I trust you to make me all better. Aw, oh, that's great. Okay, Timmy, here we go. Be a brave boy for me and stay still. It'll only hurt for a second. Ow! Oh, I don't feel so good. I... I... Timmy? Are you all right, dear? Uh, Timmy? I want to live! <laughs> Timmy! Oh my god! You killed him! Timmy! Timmy! Oh. Somehow, I don't think a few extra Power Rangers stickers are going to smooth that one over. Bupivacaine is a great, long-acting local anesthetic, which makes it ideal for nerve blocks and dental blocks and trigger point injections when you need pain control for a long time. The problem is, is that if you give bupivacaine intravenously, it's incredibly cardiotoxic and kills people. A control syringe like this one is a great device because you can aspirate before you inject to make sure you're not in a vein. However, a lot of ERs don't carry them, and if they do, they carry one big size, which might not be ideal for injections in small places, like a child's mouth. To make your own control syringe, Get it all set up, whatever syringe size you're going to use, uh, fill it up with your local anesthetic, put your glove on, and when you're ready to go, take a Steri strip or a piece of tape and tape one end of it to one side of the syringe plunger, go over and around your thumb, and then tape the other end of the Steri strip or the tape to the other side of the plunger, like this. With this method, you can inject and aspirate easily with one hand, and therefore you're a lot less likely to kill people.